G'day there everyone, I'm Daniel Anderson here. Now in this video, we are gonna take a look at how amazingly awesome the integration of the Anthropic models are to Copilot Studio by looking at a, an agent that I'm partway through building um, and I just needed to show and demonstrate what we can actually do. So we're just going to jump straight into it and you can see that I'm in Copilot Studio. I've changed my agents model over to Claude Sonnet 4.5. Now let's have a look at how we do that. So I've got my three little dots or my ellipses here. I can edit this agent and you can see under the model section of the settings of this agent, I've got the ability to change the models that this agent uses. Now I've uh, selected Claude Sonnet 4.5. All right. Now this agent, has got two tools added to it at the moment. As I said, I'm partway through building out this complete agent. Now, what I've done is I've added a custom connector here. Now, this custom connector is going to scrape a URL of a website that the user passes in. Now, this custom connector is using Firecrawl. Now, Firecrawl has a really good API that you can create a really easy custom connector with inside uh, of M365 so that I can consume that and use that as a tool in my Copilot Studio created agent. The other tool that I've got added to this agent is the email management MCP server. Now, again, when I go to add a tool, you can see when I go to new tool, I've got the ability to use MCP, I've got prompts, I've got agent flows, I've got custom connectors, and I've got REST API. So for the fire crawl, I've used a custom connector and built that out uh, using that functionality there. Now with the email management MCP server, we can flick over to this uh, tab here, and you can see that I've got a number of out of the box MCP servers that I can utilize. And the one that I'm utilizing for this scenario is the email management MCP server. Now, when I open up this MCP server, you can see that I've got a number of tools that I can use or this, this MCP server allows or opens up for me. Send an email, reply to an email, get email, list emails, flag emails, forward emails. But the one I'm using here is going to be the send email. Okay, so if we jump back to our overview section here and our instructions, you can see I've got three instructions here, nice and simple, just as we're building this out. User provided URL and prompt to scrape the page, return the data requested. The user will prompt for the information to be returned and then send an email that is HTML formatted with the appropriate headings and stylings. All right, so let's give this a test. I'm going to grab this, you I'm going to grab a URL from the US Food and Drug Administration website. So you can see here, I've got my safety alerts here, but these have links in it, right? So you can see I've got links to other pages. So let's prompt this. Uh, can you please scrape this URL uh, and get the later, the uh, alerts from the past six months then go to those pages and get the title I want the title I want the category I want um, the date that the alert is current as of uh, and also write a summary okay and there's my prompt so let's give this a test. So again, as I mentioned, we're using Claude Sonnet 4.5. Now what we can see is I get to see the thinking process behind this, right? You'll, you'll notice as we're going through here, you'll notice here I've successfully scraped the main page. I've got one, I've got two, I've got four. You can see that I can see what's happening. Now we need to visit each page to extract so we're getting that thought process behind this agent as well, all right? So we can see that it's now initiated the MCP server and it's using, uh, and you can see it's scraping the single URLs and you can also see the time it takes for each uh, action here, all right? So here we go. 
it's got the last six months. I've got six items here and it's now creating a HTML formatted email and it's going to automatically send that to me all based on those three little instructions. I've got the MCP server doing the sending of the email and I've got Claude doing the writing of the summaries and I've got the uh, Firecrawl doing the, the crawling of the content of these pages, right? So we're doing that for each alert and what's going to pop through is a nicely HTML formatted uh, email directly into my inbox. All right, so now that has finished perfectly. I've successfully done this. Uh, the email's been sent successfully. I've just heard my ding. Let's open this up. So I'm gonna double click. I'm gonna open up this email and I'm gonna bring this across. And then let's have a look at this format. Now without any prompting on styling or anything like that, look at this. I've got a fully formatted HTML email directly into my inbox of those six uh, key alerts. I've also got the key takeaways and recommendations as additional. I've got URLs based on the scraping of this. So let's have a look and let's have a look at these, right? So here's the affected products. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to now, let's create another report. So I'm going to say um, from, um, uh, from, these, from the information, from this information, um, can you please, uh, what do I want? I want to get, uh, create a table, right? So, uh, create a table of all the affected products for a particular alert. Now the particular alert I want is number three and it's this one, all right? So imported cookware that may leach lead. All right. So I'm going to hit that and let's have a look. And what that will do, again, we're going backwards and forwards with our agent. Here's the, the affected product. So what have I got? I've got 10. Now what's gonna happen, a comprehensive HTML table with all the data is going to be written for me, okay? And so that table has now been created and it's also been emailed through. So let's open up that table and have a look at this. With, again, without any prompting or styling or anything, what Claude has done here is give me this amazing table of results. Here are those products, all 10 of them, and I've got the brand, the location, the manufacturer, the distrib uh, distributor, the date, the current status, and that is all based on the uh, the data that has been scraped. So let's have a look. This is, that artic this is the alert. Here's the table that Firecrawl and the agent has now scraped and got all of that information and it has turned that into this HTML formatted email, right? Look at the extra detail that this has provided as well. Characteristics to look for, immediate actions required, health risks, uh, important notes, and if you've got concerns, I've got all of that information, all right? So there we go. Claude Anthropic integrated into your Copilot agent with a couple of extra tools and you can see the power and the capabilities and this type of scenario uh, that can be then used in so many different ways. So I hope that brings you some value. Thanks for watching. Thanks uh, and I'll see you in the next episode.